So today we're going to go through a series of movements and we're going to focus on a body position and then we're going to do a couple of movements which are going to go from isolation to more of a compound movement. So they're going to build upon it and then you're going to switch body positions. Now to really maximize your gains, to get your body beach ready, well, cardio is suggested as well as some core moves. So I've infused a little bit of that into the workout. Some ways that you can infuse it even more is that when you switch body positions, you can do a two to five minute cardio workout. You can go and do some more cardio pull as which we're gonna start off with today. So, so for those of you who are just beginning, what I suggest is to do 20 to 30 seconds per movement and then go on to the next movement. Your rest can be nil, or 30 seconds depending upon how fatigued you are. To really get that burn and that heart rate going, try to get yourself to go from one move to the next. For more intermediate to advanced participants, you're gonna start anywhere from 30 seconds to up to one minute. What I like to do in my workouts is sometimes I start 30 or 20 and then I go to one minute or vice versa. In other words, I do one minute for the first set and I run through the whole series. It should take about 25, 30 minutes, depending upon your rest. Then I do another set, 40 seconds, and my last burnout set is around 20 seconds per movement, going through each one, and that gives me a good 35 to 40 minute routine. At the end of the 10 to 20 minutes that I have in my hour that I've allotted, I try to do a little cardio to get the maximum amount of burn. So I hope you enjoyed this workout. So let's get started. 